know, I've got data coming into my storage array from, let's say, a database system. To ensure fast performance, the database cache or the, the, the storage array will cache this data on the SPs and then flush it down to disk. Um, as the, the disk becomes available for, for the next write. So that's something that you want to look at because you can easily get into a situation where your cache is being overutilized and the SPs are unable to dump the data into the disks fast enough and allow more writes to come into the cache. And this will bring you into a situation where you call, which is called forced flushing. So let me back up a little bit. When a system uses the array's cache, it, it, it's for a, a variety of reasons. But generally speaking, you'll, you'll find a, a high amount of cache utilization when you've got the wrong type of disks or, or RAID groups or LUNs being used for you know, very I.O. intensive workloads. For example, I've got, you know, uh, an OLTP yeah. database, online transactional processing database, that's got a very high IOPS requirement. But for some reason, you know, whether it was uh, the, the type of disks I had sitting around at the time or for budgetary constraints or for whatever reason, these, you know, these database LUNs are sitting on SATA drives, right? SATA drives are generally, you know, they're, they're bigger, um, they have more capacity than you know a fiber channel or SAS drive, but they're also typically lower than your SAS drive.